G'day everyone. We're here today to look at this plant here. It's called Euphorbia calandestina, as you can see, or aka nicknamed as ostrich neck. Um, maybe as you can see, <laughs> it does look like an ostrich neck. Uh, you can see the, the where the leaves branch out, uh, the nodules stay, but eventually the leaves uh, tend to fall off. Uh, it's in flower at the moment. Uh, we're in uh, the end of uh, winter. Uh, she comes into flower mid-winter and uh, uh, starts popping its seeds uh, during summer. It takes a while. as. Uh, the seed pods haven't formed yet. There, she's still opening. She just needs a bit more uh, time for the um, for those uh, flower flowers to open up. But um, easy to propagate, uh, as uh, I've got seedlings growing everywhere uh, around because uh, they do uh, when the uh, pods do. Um, First, uh, they, they they throw the seeds a fair distance, roughly around about uh, five feet to about a metre and a half away. But uh, nice plant. This has been growing in this pot for quite some time. Um, I think it's been in this pot for at least seven or eight years. And um, grew from seed. Uh, had another plant... Uh, over to the right, um, but she eventually um, uh, died for some unknown reason. But uh, yes, I've got quite a fair few uh, growing uh, in other pots, uh, seedlings. Comes from South Africa. Uh, they tend to grow fairly large, up to about uh, 80 centimeters in um, in height and uh, yeah this is quite big I've got a stake actually holding it up so the wind won't uh, push it down uh, they say they normally tend to grow amongst shrubs just to give it a bit of support uh, but they'll be top heavy too but uh, yes beautiful a bouquet of flowers on the plant itself it's just covered in them so what I normally do is uh, I uh, wait till the uh, pods start to brown before they pop and I just pluck them off or what you can do is um, put a, uh, a fine net around the plant and uh, put a, a, a elastic band down the bottom just to hold the net in place and just a uh, twisty tie up the top to, um, to just hold it in place up the top of it and just leave it there and uh, eventually the seeds will pop and go in the net and fall down at the bottom just give it a bit of uh, looseness down at the very base so that um, they can accumulate down there but uh, yes easy to grow very easy to grow they say you can grow this uh, from uh, cuttings uh, they they say that it does branch off but this one hasn't got any branches I think the only way this thing's gonna branch off if something ever happens to the the main eye of the plant but uh, they also say it's uh, very hard to propagate from seeds but uh, I have uh, propagated this from seed and uh, fairly easy um, I've actually got some seeds in a uh, container that I grew but um, it wasn't getting enough sun so they elongated so hopefully uh, they'll uh, uh, sort of grow properly but like this one this one's uh, sort of like a bit lopsided there as you can see there's the base it 
comes from South Africa. Uh, it's found in a uh, rocky area. Uh, and uh, I, I thought this was uh, a, a subspecies uh, of uh, a few different plants. But uh, it's a species on its own. I do like the colouring go with that brown colouring on the plants. It's fairly thick in diameter. I think it's around about oh, close to two inches. Up the top there, it's about two inches. So, yeah. nice easy plant to grow and if you've got this growing in your garden <laughs> you're more likely to have a whole heap of these plants this plant uh, growing uh, around uh, quite nice quite nice I'll uh, just show you um, some of the little seedlings that I um, propagated from seeds I've got a transplant them into a um, uh, into their own individual pots so we'll just go over there okay there they are down there so I've got to pull them out and um, put them in their own pots we've got some barrel cactus here that are growing from seed but anyway, yeah, so, um, yeah, like I said, they're fairly easy to grow. And, uh, she can handle fairly cold weather. Um, I don't think they can handle the, um, anything below say uh, below zero uh, here in Victoria we uh, get temperatures around and uh, the uh, one Celsius every now and then it does get to uh, minus one but that's every once in a blue moon but uh, yeah nice plant Okay, I hope you like this little bit of information about this plant, uh, Euphorbia calandestina. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.